Full time, by the way, guys. Full time. Al Nasser won. Al Hilal for Cristiano do score in this game, but Cristiano's walking off the pitch right now. He's walking off the pitch. This is such an embarrassment. Such an embarrassment performance. And Al Hilal yet again have won another trophy against Al Nasser. Another final one against Cristiano. Cristiano only won one trophy at Al Nasser, and that was against Al Hilal, by the way. That's the King's Cup or something like that. But look, he's lost another final here against Al Hilal. Al Hilal is just a, such a good team, bro. Such a good team. You can't, you can't do anything. You can't debate it. You can't debate it. But people think that Cristiano's at fault. If you think Cristiano's at fault for this loss, you must be deluded. You must be 100% deluded. But to talk about Al, Al Nasser, just to speak about Al Nasser, if they want to compete in the Saudi Pro League, they need more defenders, they need more midfielders. There is no way they're going to compete with the, with the same team, the team that is not even using Neymar. They're not even using Neymar. Imagine when they add Neymar to this team. They're going to be flying, bro. They're going to be flying, and Al Nasser definitely need to strengthen in all departments. I mean, all departments if they want to win a... a want to compete and win against Al Hilal. That is just, it's just a pure fact. I'm just telling you guys the fact. But that is it. Al Nasser won. Al Hilal four. Uh, Omar says Penaldo. I mean, look, white ball. Look, whatever you want to say, bro. Whatever you guys want to say. We know for a fact that it's not Cristiano's fault. I know Messi lovers or Cristiano haters, they're gonna blame Cristiano for this loss, but it's not, it's not his game. It's not his loss. He's not the goalkeeper. He's not the defender. And, and, and certainly he's not the manager, bro. What he can do is score goals. And guess what? He scored a goal today. He scored a goal today, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. And that's part of football. That's life. That is life. Uh, Portugal, Al Hila, I mean Al Nasser, letting him down, letting him down consistently, bro. Consistently, consistently. Sneaky says Messi is Cristiano's daddy. He's not, bro. You already know. You already know. Emiliano Martinez is Messi's daddy. By the way, by the way, just to put it, just to put that in there, just to put that in there. But look, I'm devastated. I'm devastated for sure. The fact that Cristiano have won the game, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. They've lost the game. What can you do? What can you do, bro? What can you do? Linkovic Savage with the goal. Savage with the goal. Uh, uh, Mitrovic two goals. Malcolm is also on the score sheet. Like, it's devastating, bro. It's devastating. A simple one-two, right? A simple one-two, and they score a goal. A simple one to the score a goal. And the defensive duties, Laporte, all these guys and the back four, they are shite. La Jimmy, Tellez, these are finished people. Finished people in the back four, all of them, they need to be they need to be taken out. They need to be taken out. And if Cristiano seriously want to win a trophy with this team, that needs to happen. It's, it's as simple as that. There is no competing with Al Hilal. No competing with Al Hilal. You can't compete with Milinkovic Savic and, and Ruben Neves. These guys are international footballers. You understand what I'm saying? And then you got Mitrovic there. You got Malcolm there. It's a super team. Al Hilal is the Real Madrid of Saudi Pro League. That's just a fact. It's just a fact. But yeah, guys, it is a loss. Before you leave, make sure you smash a like on the stream. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, if you're new to the channel. Um, 